Have we gone too far in having a go at our politicians? Good evening and welcome to the front line and a happy new year to you all. But first, how we treat our politicians. Are we as voters too demanding, too critical, too insulting, too hurtful? Do social media like Twitter make it easier to have a go at your target TD or senator or councillor? And do the media, broadcast and print, irresponsibly shape the way politicians are viewed by their readers and their audiences? As well, Minister Pat Rabbit, as you can see, is with us tonight, along with uh, American academic Larry Donnelly from the Department of Law at UCG, uh, journalist Brenda Parr. <laughs> Minister, do you want to reply to that? Uh, you were the cheerleader for having a go at... Uh... Is, is, uh, yes, I certainly was uh, a main cheerleader highlighting the disasters of Fianna Foil. And I am amazed and I admire any young person who after the destruction they wrought on this country, that he would want to join them. Such a gang of incompetence never got their hands on this country. Okay, why do you want to... But the, the fact of the matter is, the media itself has a responsibility. Uh, it seldom engages in serious analysis or any kind of, of forensic study uh, of policy issues. It is too personalised. Ad hominem attacks are the course of the day, uh, and uh, it's time that somebody stood up for politics. It's time that politicians uh, said they're not okay. afraid. Uh, Brenda, uh, I'll, 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 I'll give you the last word on this. Say, it's the best we've got. I'm it very may impressed be by, by the Minister's speech there and the piety and, 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 and the, the, you know, the, the self-righteousness of it. But a few minutes ago, Minister, you called Fianna Fáil a bunch of gangsters. You said Fianna Fáil, the second biggest party in the country, the only alternative we have if we were to have the democracy that you're so keen on, you called him a bunch of gangsters. I did not. Yes, you I absolutely you did. Pardon. In response to this gentleman I here, you, you did. I pardon. I never used you, you used such a word. Gangsters. word. Did I absolutely use that word? I don't recall studio? it. Absolutely did. I never used absolutely it. Did. I did not. No. You did. You said gangsters. Brenda. No, you did. You no, said Brenda, you no, you did. no one, one remembers it. You did. I heard you. You're wrong. You were talking to the gentleman. You apologized to me afterwards. You were wrong. Wait, look back at what you did. I think we have a consensus here. Chancellors. Exactly. What I call but them. And that's what they he, are. He, he got a round of applause for his remark. <laughs> yes, exactly. So what is that? So where, is that the well, are you going fault? to apologise now, Brenda? I, I heard gangsters. Pat. Are you going to apologise? If, 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 if you said chancellors, well, chancellors isn't. Are, are you going better. to apologise, okay. Brenda? I misheard that's you. That's the most ungracious I apology. I misheard you. Larry, I'll give you yeah. a misheard me indeed. You misheard it's, a lot. It's, it's, that, it's that course in dialogue that really worries me the most, especially to, to young people who are getting involved in politics and getting civically engaged, which is something we should all be concerned about, all committed to. That kind of dialogue doesn't do anything for it.